On the left is without adaptive optics, and on the right is with adaptive My optics. My goodness. You can see the so, huge change. So, this is how Andrea Ghez won the Nobel Prize. This is crazy. You're looking at something called Sagittarius A star, mm -hmm. and the stars around that compact object. Mm -hmm. And if we were to make a movie out of this, you'd see all of the stars going around, mm. around an invisible point. Mm. Right? And yeah. that invisible point, point is our supermassive black, black hole. hole. Yep. So the goal is always higher angular resolution. You were under the Earth's atmosphere, and the Earth's atmosphere causes the twinkling of stars. Because all the Earth's atmosphere has this turbulent packets of warm air and then cold air and highly dense and then lower dense so the light is gonna is gonna start moving around before it gets to your detector interacting with the atmosphere on its way to the whatever exactly you're capturing it with yeah exactly the resulting disk of your point source let's say if you're trying to look at a star mm -hmm. we can correct by making a fake star here what you're seeing is the keck telescope mm -hmm. and there's two lasers pointing out at where the telescope is looking and it's creating a fake star there the uh, trick is the following. You've got a fake star that looks like any other star. Yeah. But we know that it came from our laser, yeah. so it should be stationary. Right. Though if I can mm -hmm. change, if I have some kind of deformable mirror, right, that is taking that starlight, and right in the middle, I have like little ways in which I can yes. change the shape of that mirror. Yes. In order to keep that laser stationary, stationary. that's going to cancel out the effects of that column of the atmosphere. Makes makes total sense. Right. I, I, Here, what we're seeing is the center of our Milky Way mm -hmm. in infrared, mm -hmm. 